So, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golf wing and streetwear. In today's video, we got a quick one. We're gonna be looking at a brand new leak of some Golf Le Fleur Doe shoes in a brand new colorway. So last night while I was actually asleep, the Tyler Updated page on Instagram got on here and posted this picture, which you should be seeing next to my head, of a brand new colorway of the Golf Le Fleur Doe's. This is the third colorway we have seen of this shoe so far. The first one was from a long time ago. It was a really similar colorway to the industrial of Fleurs. And um, I'll try to put a picture of that up next to my head as well, but it'll probably be a little bit harder to see because the picture quality isn't amazing, but we did see this colorway, which features a white and black upper with some green hits throughout. The second colorway that we saw leak of this is this pink and red colorway, which you should once again be seeing next to my head. If you do remember, this was a personal favorite colorway of mine because I love pink and red. Ever since the Igor era, I've just really enjoyed that colorway on a lot of pieces. So this was my personal favorite of the two colorways we had seen leaked up to that point. And we have a third new colorway leak, which features the same exact shoe model with an all white upper. And just like on the pink and red pair, we have that gold Golf Le Fleur font on looks like both sides of the shoe. And it is very, very hard to see in the picture. So I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but just behind um, the Golf Le Fleur branding on the shoe, we have the gold outline of the Le Fleur logo. So like I said a minute ago, previously that pink and red colorway was my personal favorite of these shoes that we have seen up to this point. But now I've really got to say, I think this colorway is taking the cake for me. Um, I used to be huge about all white shoes. Now I'm not so crazy about them. But ever since I got my Nike Cortez, which is a, you know, mostly white shoe, it's got a couple black hits throughout. But ever since I had those, I've really kind of fell back in love with the idea of an all white shoe. I'm liking how these shoes, uh, in my opinion, are feeling a little bit more high end. Obviously, the most uh, high end, I guess, quote unquote, golf and fleur shoe we've seen up to this point would be the dress shoes. This shoe to me seems to be a nice blend between casual wear and something that you can also dress up. But in my opinion, these shoes also wouldn't look out of place on, you know, just a regular fit with a white tee and black shorts. And I think finding a balance between that high end and casual look is something that can be really hard to do at times, but I think it was really well executed with this shoe in this specific colorway. I'm still liking this model more than I like the Uno. I know that's a really unpopular opinion because to a lot of people, the Unos are like the pinnacle of Tyler's shoe collab. But in my opinion, I think the Giannos and these and the dress shoes are, you know, a lot better than the Syndicate Vans collab collection and the Uno collection. I've been a lot more excited about the Dose leaks and the Dress Shoes leaks and the Giano releases than I ever was about any Tyler shoe release before. So I'm really liking what I see here with this, guys. Excited to see what happens with these. I would say we might be seeing a lot more information coming soon about these shoes because everybody was talking about it when it happened, but not that long ago, Golf Le Fleur posted on their Instagram. He said that the black colorway of the Giano that we saw drop last was actually going to be the colorway to close out the silhouette. And you know, that hasn't been 100% confirmed or denied. But with that message on Golf Le Fleur's Instagram with them saying they're closing out the silhouette and with the amount of times we've seen Tyler wearing these shoes recently, I think we're about to see a push into this new silhouette and stop seeing the Giannos releasing, which, you know, is kind of unfortunate. I feel like there was a lot more they could have done with the Giano. And like I said, not 100% confirmed that it's completely over, but it does seem to be that way. But also on the flip side of that, I feel like the Unos got a little bit overplayed after a while. So I think ending the Giano on a high note is good, but I mean, we we barely got to see the Giannos release for a year. But regardless, I'm still really enjoying these shoes. I'm also really enjoying uh, the Golf Le Fleur dress shoes, and I'm hoping we see those released sometime soon. So while I do love the Giannos, I'm liking what we've seen so far with this silhouette. I'm liking the build, and I'm liking the design a lot more than the Unos. Comment below and let me know your opinions on these shoes. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you somewhere in the middle? As always, if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward, but that'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.